so I haven't uploaded on here in a while because I really haven't been in the backyard much but uh the fence blew down both sides this had to be completely replaced so I had to put posts in dig post holes break up the old concrete uh, neighbor says he's gonna put a board right there it's missing one but yeah got some lemons over there but yeah it's just been storm after storm and everything's just been getting messed up everything's muddy back here dogs running around feet sinking into the grass making mud and if you watch my channel or if you want to watch what's going on right here you remember there was a beautiful peach tree it was our best tree beautiful and um, well this is it now it got some type of disease and it killed it same thing that killed our cherry tree well it looked the same but yeah I cut it up so what happened was the last storm that we just had we had about 65 70 mile an hour winds and the tree was dead. I thought I was going to have to call somebody out to get the tree out, you know, pull it out, whatever. Literally, the wind blew it right out of the ground. So, all I had to do was give it a couple tugs and then cut it up. Still got to do all those branches, but I cut it up. This, I'm burning. This is all pieces of the old fence that was over there. So, I'm burning all this up. Get rid of it. Have a little fire. But yeah. The winds were so strong that gazebo right there lifted off the ground and moved. And that's a 20 foot gazebo. Lifted off the ground and moved. Yeah, but I haven't been back here that much. I have to get back on my traveling though, because we have been traveling. Nothing major really yet. So when I get something more major, then we'll take a look at that. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Crouching like he's hiding or something. What you hiding from? What's going on, Solomon? What was you? These dogs are weird, man. I don't know what to say about them. Look at this one, all dirty and muddy. And then the dogs, I had to lock them up back on their little spot because they got their own area. But because the fence was down, and if they got out, they would have been gone because the neighbor has like a big gap in the bottom of his fence, so they would have been right out the back of the fence. But yeah, this has been a long time since I did anything. I think the last time I did something was I saw turkeys back here or something. Like, you know, this is how it's looking. A mess. It's like I have this yard look so nice, you know, and then I've got these wild hyena dogs and these storms. It's just, look, my lights are knocked over. If the wind didn't tear them up, the dogs ate them. So it's like, I don't know. And look at this tree. It looks like it's leaning. So I guess the wind kind of caught that a little bit. So I'm going to straighten that out. Um, stuff is already starting to bud. Especially this apple tree over here. And this is uh, what, February 15th. Look at that. Hope this one don't die on me. This is a beautiful little apple tree. I don't remember which one it was. See, the thing about this one is, is that every year when I want to eat the apples, it gets so hot in the summer that the apples split in half. And lemons. So, I don't know. Guess I'm going to have to figure out how to harvest them before the sun blows them up. I might have to put a cover. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But yeah, I never get apples. They always split in half. And this right here, I don't know if you can see it. That's the tree trunk right there. That came out of right here. I had to break this up because I had glued it like so it'll stay together. So when you put water and stuff in it, it won't all flow out. But yeah. That's what we got here. Ain't that crazy how this thing died and then the wind came. It died in spring last year and then the wind came this year and just blew it out the ground. I thought I was going to have to pay somebody to get this thing out the ground. It literally blew it out the ground. I mean, there's not even much roots left. There's some in there, but it, it tore it up. Does anybody know how to get... Uh, uh, ground that's been polluted or, or contaminated with some type of disease because 
with the cherry tree over there, I I put a pear tree in there. And then uh, it just died the same way the cherry tree did, so it's contaminated. So I'm sure this is contaminated too. But how do you decontaminate dirt? Like I looked online talking about put your dirt in a microwave. I can't put this whole thing in the microwave. So maybe if I was thinking I'd take something like that, dig a big hole and burn it. It'll put nutrients in it. It might burn up all the fungus or the disease, whatever it is. Yeah. All right, our little everything. I'm out of here for right now. Let's see if I got more stuff coming, like me traveling or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna start raining again tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Like and subscribe.